Haunting Ground is a survival horror game that came out in 2005 on the PlayStation 2. It was developed and published by Capcom. This game is called Demento in Japan and Haunting Ground outside of Japan, though the more accurate title should be Scared British Blonde Chick Who Everyone Wants to Rape. Quite literally. That is an accurate title for this game. In the intro, you learn that Fiona's parents die in a car crash just outside Belly Castle, and she somehow lived. The rest of the game is you controlling 18-year-old Fiona Belly as you're running away from your pursuer, who either wants to rape you or rip your uterus out. And I'm dead serious. But not all is lost. You find a dog named Huey who helps you along the way, who solves puzzles, attacks your pursuers, and all in all, is fucking useless when you desperately need his help. When this happens, you can hide from your pursuers in various spots. That may or may not work. You can also hide behind doors, but they usually find you. I haven't had any success in doing that. The ultimate goal in Haunting Ground is that you're trying to get the hell out of this creepy castle and, like most survival horror games, doing it in the most indirect way possible. You'll cycle through four main pursuers with each chapter. However, there is a way to bypass all of that. But then again, what's the point of that? What's the point of the game? There's Debilitus, the castle gardener, Daniela, the crazy maid, Ricardo, the castle groundskeeper, rapist, and Lorenzo, an old dude in a wheelchair who crawls on the floor really fast for some reason. All of these characters have their own motive to get Fiona, and like I said before, almost all the reasons involve rape in some way. Now, in the horror aspect of the game, it's not all that scary and can get rather annoying, especially in the later chapters when your pursuer is faster and has a goddamn gun, though he has terrible fucking aim. The more frustrating parts are 1. Your stalker, and 2. Fiona panicking. Sometimes you will memorize entire sections of the castle because you've been running away from your stalker for so long. I remember running away from Ricardo for 15 minutes one time, and now I have that map stuck in my head because I kept looping the area. I would try and hide, but he would always find me for some strange reason, while Huey, the dog, would just piss around and bark at him. Now for point number 2, Fiona panicking. This happens when Fiona gets freaked out or starts to panic, obviously. In the game, the screen gradually becomes black and white and blurry the more she panics or gets scared. Once she reaches her limit, she will scream and start constantly running, will bump into things, and even fall down and can't get up. For some reason, this always happened to me a lot when I was being chased by Daniela, and rightfully so. That bitch is crazy. Just listen to what happens when Daniela kills you. She's ripping off Fiona's clothing and carving out her uterus, by the way. Delicious. If there's one thing good about Haunting Ground, it's the sound. Say you're casually walking down the street and Daniela's theme starts playing. You'll just want to steal a car and drive the hell away from that place. Or just change the song. The voice acting is surprisingly good for such an unknown horror game. Fiona's voice actress is the only bad one in this game, really, and Daniela's is really awesome. For some unknown reason, I love this game, even though the panic meter is shit, Huey's AI is the best ever, and the story itself is all bananas. Oh, who am I kidding? I love this game because Daniela is awesome as fuck. If you want to play this game... When you are here, make the plate say this. And when you get here, make the plate say this. When you beat the game, you can become a whore. Yay! Enjoy!